Hello and welcome to another tutorial video for InPlay Online and in this video I'm going to show you all around the playlist library page. So as you can see at the moment I'm actually on a specific playlist so this is one that I've created. So it's important to know that any playlist that you create if you want to then go to it later and find it later at a later date anything that you create is going to be stored in the playlist library and that is just here on the left hand side. So firstly I'm going to click on this and go to this particular playlist library. So everyone's playlist library will look a little bit different because it depends on what content they have created. So the playlist library basically stores every playlist that you've created personally, but also it shows you any playlist that somebody else in your team's created and shared to you. So you will see things in here that you may, you know, you might think actually that's not mine, but it's obviously there for a reason because someone has chosen to share it to you. In which case, when they do that, you do get a notification. So you can see here, I've got lots and lots of playlists in my particular playlist library on this account. So the playlists are unlimited. You can have as many of these as you want. So I'm going to show you a few of the features in here. So firstly, if we just look at a playlist and we'll see what it actually shows us. So you can see, firstly, it tells us how many clips are in that particular playlist. And we've got this option here, which gives us the option to share. So we can share it to somebody in our squad. And if we have permissions, so if it is ours, we will be able to delete that as well from here if we wanted to. So that'll just get rid of the whole playlist. So you can see we have got the name of the playlist here. So this one was actually one that I created when doing a tutorial video. So this is the name. You can see the names of these are some people's names and stuff. So this is the name. This is the name of the creator, which again you can see is me. So I've got all of these are all mine. So you can see straight away these are mine. And then the date that this was created. So you've got all that information around this one particular playlist. If I want to go into this one, I can just click on here, click on it, and it will take me to that particular playlist, which case we can maybe make some edits and do whatever we want to. But again, that's for a different video. This video is just about the library. So let's go back to the library and then show you a few more tools that you've got in here. So as I mentioned, this actually stores yours, but also other people's playlists that's been set, sent to you. So if you just want to see yours and hide everybody else's, you can just click this option here. So you can see that's gone blue, my playlists. So then now basically it's filtered out everybody else's. So if you just want to look at your own, that's fine. You can do that. So you can see that it's highlighted. To bring everyone's back, you press that again. When it's not highlighted, it's going to show everyone that you have access to. You've got the option here to create a new playlist, which is great. Obviously, if you're in here and you're just kind of looking over what playlist you've already made, you can click on this button and then you basically choose which game or which, which video you want to go to. Obviously, you give the playlist a name just here and then give that, um, you know, select which video. And then next step would be select which timeline you want to go to. Um, just there so you can choose which one to go to so you've got the create a new one you've got a filter out here you can order by you know I think you can you can do these here but the by default it is ordered by the newest first so again these are always the newest ones right at the top but if you wanted to go by the name you can do that as well but then really important here is the search bar so you can actually just start typing in here and it will bring up any playlists that are relevant to what has been typed in so you can actually search by uh, the playlist name, so the name of the playlist, the creator's name, and also the fixture or video name that was used to create the playlist in the first place. So I'll just show you an example. So I have a playlist called Intensity, which is hidden somewhere in this um, loads of playlists here. So if I just start typing that in, you can see there, it's fil it filters out straight away. As I'm typing, it's filtering out. So you can see that it's gone and it showed me that particular playlist. So let's say I search for something else. J-O is Brawl, Joe, Josh, and Joao there. So we've got three different playlists. So it makes it really easy. So if you just want to look, okay, I need to see all the playlists that my uh, manager has sent to me. Type the, Start typing the manager's name in. Whichever playlist that he's got or she's got that then also have been shared to you, they're going to become visible immediately. So, you know, it makes it really easy to get to the content that you want to see. Um, so other than that, you know, this is a really simple page to use. It kind of helps you organize all of your playlists over the season and get to the ones quickly that you need to get to. So again, another example where the search bar might be of use. If you're playing somebody, let's say on the weekend, and it's the reverse fixture, you want to look at all the playlists from the previous fixture, all you need to do is just start typing the fixture name in here and it will bring them all up so you can go straight in and have a look around at what happened the last time around. So this video has been all around the playlist library. 
So if you do have any questions, please do email support at in-playonline.com. Be sure to check out the rest of the tutorial videos. There are a few more specific to playlists. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.